I believe that cooking should be a joy, not a chore. And so much of that mindset has to do with the environment that you cook in, how your kitchen is set up, the kind of music you have playing, and yep, even what you wear. For me, bringing a little laughter into the kitchen can go a long way. So today I'm going to show you my five favorite aprons that bring me joy to my meal prep. According to the Harvard Business Review, only 10% of Americans love to cook. 45% hate it, and 45% are on the fence. If you're on the fence, I hope that we can help change your mindset by changing some things like the way your kitchen is set up, or the kind of music that you play, or even the clothes you wear. For me, bringing a little laughter into the kitchen can go a long way. So today, here in our new studio, I'm going to show you my five favorite aprons that bring me joy in my meal prep. As we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified of more of this kind of ridiculousness. First up, a floral half apron in white featuring red flowers. This one was a gift from my friend Rebecca, and I like to pull it out when I'm feeling in the mood for 1950s housewife cosplay. Next up, a bit of rockabilly flavor. This apron is white, featuring a pattern of tattoo-inspired sparrows and pinup girls, along with the obligatory chains, handcuffs, and delicate feminine bows. Here's one for when I'm feeling silly. This apron was made by my aunt, Roberta. It features a delicate grass pattern and giant bovine cranium, complete with floppy ears. Speaking of family aprons, this apron was made by my mother in the 1970s, and it features only the best colors of that decade along with astrological symbols of all 12 houses. Here you see my favorite apron that I have never cooked in. This apron features a genuine quilt square sewn by my great-grandmother. My mom made the quilt square into an apron for me, which mostly just stays on a hook in my kitchen where I can admire it without ruining it with stains. I gotta be honest though, guys, my favorite apron is actually this one. <laughs> so if you learned something today, or at least got a laugh out of today, please give us a like, a subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you have any fun aprons that you love to wear in the kitchen, let us know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. There's also a link to our blog in the description box below where you can always go to sign up for our weekly newsletter. That's it for today. Have fun in the kitchen and thanks for watching. <laughs>